First of all, Alan, how's the injuries looking for the weekend? How are you? Uh, well, Brown a day is not too bad, um, which I'm, I'm pleased about, and uh, uh, I, he'll be checked out again tomorrow. He didn't train today, and Victor Anachibi didn't train today, but I'm hopeful that both of them will train tomorrow. Uh, Chris Baird is still ill, um, but he's coming in later today to do a, a little bit of work and, and uh, we'll see how he is tomorrow as well. So, again, the sight of options starting to improve for you all the time? Yeah, um, it looks like I've got a, a good squad to pick from again, which is, which is really pleasing and particularly uh, when we've just had just about every player involved in, in a couple of very good performances this week. Yeah, let's look back at those. Tottenham first, uh, and you a thoroughly deserved victory. I thought so. Um, I felt as if uh, we, we played really well without the ball, and then we caused them a lot of problems with the ball. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of work, uh, as we always do, prior to the game, and, and full marks to the players because they, they had to go out and apply that and, and applied it extremely well. And, and I felt we were really good value for our victory at Tottenham. Uh, and in your playing days, you would have expected the same again 11 to play in a cup tie the following few days later, but that's not the, that's not the world anymore, is it? Well, well it isn't, and uh, you know, there are a number of reasons for that, and one of them certainly isn't that we were taking the, the, the competition lightly because it's a really important competition. Um, but I had to, to look at the squad as a whole. There were players who were ready to be thrown in at, at first team level and, and players who needed to, to get that chance to play. It was great for us that we played against another Premier League team because it then meant that they were getting exactly the right level of competition that, that they needed. And it's a bit of a gamble because obviously we wanted to get through, we're delighted to be through, um, but it was a gamble that paid off and uh, every player who played in both games played extremely well and they've certainly given me uh, some selection you dilemmas. Have, yeah, you must have genuine problems. Yes, I have, but those are the problems you want to have. We had other problems uh, a few weeks ago and that was, that was being able to fit in a, uh, into a team, a group of, of 11 or 12 players who were, who were fit and available. Is that now one of the hardest parts of uh, running a team at this high level, Alan? In fact, you've got 25 professional, highly competitive footballers who all want to play in the first team and handling that must be a really difficult part of the job. Yeah, the, the fact is you've got to manage the players as, as well as you possibly can and, and you've got to make some tough decisions and you've got to have some tough conversations, but that's the job. Um, you can't shy away from that because if you do then uh, you'll, you'll certainly upset the players. Um, there, there's no way, no good way to give uh, bad news and tell players that they're not playing. But it's a lot better to look them in the eye and tell them than, than for them to, to find out in a roundabout way. And, and so uh, in, in this job, you've got to be big enough and brave enough to, to have those tough decisions, uh, to make the tough decisions and have those tough conversations. And now uh, two good wins and more than 20,000 fans turning up at the Hawthorns expecting a third win. Burnley, of course, will have very different ideas. Absolutely, and uh, you know they're really enjoying their time in the in the Premier League by the way that they're playing. I've uh, I've watched three of their games, and the fact is that that they have been extremely competitive in all three of those games, and could easily be sitting with more points than they've actually got. They're uh, they're, they're a really good unit. They they work together as a team. They've got great work ethic. Um, they're, they're honest, they, they're very, very well organised and they've got some good players. And there's, there's no question that this is a, a very difficult game and a game that we need to approach exactly in the same way as we, we did at Tottenham. And that, that's probably the key, isn't it, to, to make sure your attitude is right? Yeah, uh, if it isn't, then Burnley will certainly make us pay. Uh, because one thing's for sure, their attitude will be right. And uh, just a couple of players to talk about have had particularly impressive weeks. Um, Saido Berahino, for example, he really does seem to be flourishing this season. Yeah, he's a, he's a talented player, Saido. Um, he's got a lot, lot of potential. He's got a great attitude. His, his approach to training every day is fantastic. He stays and does extra finishing every single day. Um, and he, he seems to, to love his football. 
I've had a couple of conversations with him and, and he's a, a young lad who um, has got a real chance of becoming a top, top player. And already a top, top player is Julian Lescott with uh, his performance at, um, at Tottenham last weekend, drawing yeah. many, many admirers. Um, you must have been absolutely delighted with that and the impact that that suggests he can bring in the future. Of, of course, it was great to have Julian available and, and I know that people have been desperate uh, um, to see him and I've known none more so than, than, than us within the club. But uh, we had to make sure that it was the right time to put him in. Uh, he obviously came in and uh, through his experience and his ability and his understanding of the game, he, he made a, a very big contribution to what was a, was a terrific team performance. And finally, I mean, the mood is transformed, isn't it? It's incredible what a difference a couple of wins brings to everybody's feel-good factor. Yeah, w without a doubt. Um, there's, there's no doubt that the, the, players, the players have been good anyway. They, they haven't let their heads drop, um, even with, the, with a couple of disappointing results. Their, their approach in training every day has been absolutely fantastic from day one right the way through. There's never been a session when I've had to, to bark at them uh, and, and get them going. And, and they've, they've maintained that, uh, that level of, of training, that level of concentration um, all the way through, even after the, the, the disappointing defeats against both Swansea and Everton, when actually the result was, was worse than the performance. But I think they believed in, in what we were trying to do and, and they've been given the the rewards now really for for uh, persevering with the things that we've been trying to do. Don't don't get me wrong, we've got an awful lot to do still. Um, we're not where we need to be, but we'll keep on working on that. And with the group of players that we've got here, I think we've got a chance of continuing to improve.